he's not going to replace me, right? Right? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Don Brothers Change Heroes, Don Dragboku! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have him in both of his modes. On this side, not much of anything. On this side, not much of anything. On the bottom, words and things that I cannot read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And we have... Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for... The packaging. And moving right along, here we have Don Dragoko, and this is the sixth member of the Don Brothers, who was just recently introduced. And here we have him in figure form. So let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his abs, but at that noggin. There's the noggin. It's a nicely done helmet design. I do quite like his helmet design. Nice black and red. You do get the gold there on the chest. The dragon symbol right there as well. Get some nice silver there for the belt. And you do have the, uh, the Taiga Dora. I believe that's what that's called. And nicely molded, no paint on it, unfortunately, but some nice detail on it. And some more black, some more red. And the PDs. And the back, not too much to talk about in terms of paint. But yeah, overall, I do quite like the suit design. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head can. Whoops, we don't want that to pop off. The head. <laughs> Can rotate, you can do a full 360, you can pop that off also, and that's pretty much it. There is a joint here, as you can see, but it doesn't really allow all that much movement. A little bit downward, no real upward, so that's pretty much it, no wiggly waggly. Um, the shoulder pads are on a ball joint here, so they can kind of move out of the way. Arms can do a full 360, you can move those shoulder pads out of the way, can move in and out. You do have bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow, you have wrist rotation. Uh, you do have waist rotation. You can move his uh, his groin flap here. Thing that can move. Legs can move forward that far back. Only a little bit outward. You can do the full splits. You have thigh rotation. A bit over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet are on the ball joint. They can move up some, down some. You got rotation. And you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his... Changer slash weapon, the Ryuko no Geki. There it is in its spear mode. And just cast all in black, but it does have some detail molded on. Hollow in the back there. And for dragon mode, you can just plug this onto his hand. So you can see it, it's a bit bendy, but there it is with the Ryuko no Geki. And you also get another Ryuko no Geki in its axe mode again this cast all in black a little bit of detail molded in there but you get that as well and this you're going to use for the form change because you can go from don dragoku to don Torabolt. I believe that's how you pronounce it we haven't seen it on the show yet as of this recording but yes we get the parts for his alternate form so you get a new tiger headpiece there, and you also get a new silver chest piece with the tiger symbol on it. Nice silver paint. And to do that, let's remove the weapon here. Give him the correct one for this form. And we need to decapitate him, so just rip his head off and just remove the shield. Put on the new shield, and you're just going to remove this part of the helmet, which we've already done by accident, but now you gotta remove that, then you just replace it with the new one, just tabs right on, then you pop his head back on, and voila, there you have Don Tonabolt. And again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, we haven't seen it on the show yet. But yeah, there you have that form, and it looks pretty good. I do quite like it. So he's basically gonna be like the 
gold and silver ranger together. So, hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? And again, the shoulder pads on this armor, also on that ball joint. So, you know, articulation is exactly the same in this form. But there you go. Then, for comparison, uh, there he is with the rest of the team, and they look quite, quite good together. So, there you go. So there you have our latest Dawn Brother, and uh, yeah, I, as always with these Change Heroes figures, they're not the most fantastic figures in the world, but if you want a representation of the character on your shelf, this is a way to go about it. I like that you can do the form change, so all in all, it's a fun little figure, so... There you go! Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai items, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Don Brothers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Don Brothers Change Heroes Don Dragoku, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Who are you? I'm here to replace you and become the world's greatest hero! Yeah, good luck with that, rookie. Or should I say, companion? I'll kill you all!